Hello everyone, in this video, I want to show how to convert an image into beautiful cartoon. So the first step would be importing the module such as CV2 and also NumPy. So import NumPy as MP. In order to visualize the image, we can use from don't call out just import cv2 in show let's run the first block of the codes here we go then the idea here let's write a text file here the main idea here is to reduce the number of colors in the image because cartoon has a less number of uh, colors. In order to do that, I define function such as function reduce colors. In this function, it takes the first input as an image and also the number of colors that we want. So in this function, we can convert the image into a data, NumPy data, with format of float32 image. And also, we want to reshape the image into rows and three columns only. So why three columns? Because you know the image has a three layers of RGB. So you store R into the, for example, one column, G into another column, and B, RGB, in, and B into in other columns, so it would be totally three columns. So in this function that we want to reduce the color, we would like to use CV2 case. So the first input in CV2 means is the data that we just defined. So it's good to take a look at the documentation for CV means. So the first the first input for means would be the data. The second would be K, which is the number of colors that we want. Also the third input would be the best labels, which is none here. Also term criteria. So I would like to define criteria here. So criteria, if we read this implementation, criteria can be uh, a combination of different criteria. For example, CV term, term criteria epsilon and maximum iteration. So I would like to specify CV2 term criteria epsilon plus CV2 term criteria maximum iteration. So it would be 20 as a maximum iteration and also 0 0.001 as an epsilon. So this criteria would be one input for k means. Also, the atoms, which is, if we read here, the atoms would be the number of times that algorithm, algorithm is executed using different initial labels. So we can specify 10. And also for the, for the flags, for the flags, we can use half these initial centers are taken. For example, we 
which can use k-means, pp centers or random centers. So maybe random centers would be a good choice here. CV2, CV2, k-means, random centers. Then the output for the k-means would be red function, which is the distance of the uh, image pixel to the clusters, which, which we don't need that. Also with the label, so each pixel has a label to each cluster. And also center, which is the location, location of the center of the cluster. So we can convert center into numpy int 8. Also, the final output would be center label. Latin. So we can also reshape the result into the original image shape. Image Finally, we return the result. Let's run it and make sure that there is no mistake here. That's fine. I would like to write another function. This function can extract the edges of the image because the cartoon is more appealing to see kind of the black lines as an edge. So let's write get edge. So input is image in this function. Also line size, which is the number of uh, line, and also the pillar, the pillar value. function we can first convert the RGB color into the gray using CV2 CVT color so here the first input is image and also here we can define color BGR to gray EGR to gray. Okay. Then we can define gray below. We apply median below filter. Median below. So it's gonna apply on gray image and with the pillar value. Finally, we can get the edges by using CV2 adaptive threshold function. So in adaptive threshold function, Adaptive threshold function takes some inputs that explain here in the documentation. For example, the first input would be the gray pillar image. And we specify the thresholding value 255. Also, we would like to apply based on the mean C, which is the threshold value, is the mean of the uh, neighborhood area. So here we can take CV2 
adaptive threshold dependency and also we can specify CV2 threshold binding. So the line size and also the better value would be input here as well. So for more information about the adaptive threshold, please read the documentation, but you can just follow what I implemented here. So finally, we can return the edge. There. So here we can upload our image, which I'm going to use this image. I would say image would be CV2 inlet. And this image, I can take the path. I can also show the image. So this is the image that we're gonna try and test for converting to the to the card. So the next step would be calling the function reduce color. So here I can I can specify the image or maybe better to first call the edge, extract the edge. So here I can call it, and the output would be edge. But before calling this function, we need to specify line size. I'm gonna choose seven and also the pillar value, which you can specify any value, but I'm gonna choose eight. We can also ensure the output, which is H. There's one error here, let's see. Oh, it should be odd number. For example, nine. There we go. So you see, this is the age, number of filler value, and line size are specified. So the next step would be calling this function, reduce color. So I'm gonna say image, reduce color image K, but K number of different colors I would call it nine so we can ensure the image as well it takes time because clustering is computationally expensive but there is a misspelling flatten Line ten. Okay, let's run it again. There we go. So this is the image with reduced color. The next step would be making this image. A little bit smooth because it has noise it's a noisy image so in order to reduce the noise we can define a new variable like a alert and i'm gonna apply function by lighter or filter by lighter filter 
So the input would be image. This image would be the input of the bilateral filter. Also, I can specify uh, diameter seven. So the bilateral filter has a integer D, which is diameter of each pixel neighborhood that used for the filtering. Also, we have a sigma color, which I specify 200. And also, we have sigma space. I chose 200 as well. So finally, we can ensure the color. So you see that difference between the noise image and the source image. So now we are ready to mix this output with the edges. So it's like we want to keep this image, but we want to overlay the edges on this image as well. So I can define cartoon, which is the final output of this code. Also, CB2, bitwise and in bitwise and we can input the blurred image and we say the mask would be the edge. This one. It's like applying this mask over the blurred image. And finally, we can ensure the cartoon. There we go. So here we change, we converted the image into a cartoon, and you see this includes these beautiful red lines, and also you can change some of the subjective choices to make it better. For example, maybe you wanted to, for example, one of the things that you can change is make it to, for example, 12 number of colors. I should run from the beginning because the image name is so maybe I can change six and six and six should be good. Let's try. This should be odd. Oh, sorry for that. Seven. So I think I just changed blur value to nine. That's good. K12, that's a new number for number of images. And also we can blur that. So let's change it to five. Also 150, 150. So then we can apply here. There we go, it's gonna be much better. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and share this video with your friends. I hope you enjoy. Have a great time.